boy. Good job, Chuck. Good boy. Yeah. You're so good. You got the best nose. You got the best nose. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Good boys. Let's go. Growing up, I was just this very shy little girl. I think my parents did everything in their power to give us a very comfortable, tight-knit family lifestyle. We weren't really given the opportunity to venture out very far. I was never the real skinny girl or the real athletic girl. I was always just a little bit overweight and it started to get worse as I got older. I never went out and did things with my friends outside and I think that comes from being home all the time. There was so much to do at home. I never had a need to go out beyond those boundaries and I really hid behind that. But it actually plays a huge role in who I am today because I was able to find it within myself to dig deep and find my calling. So after high school, I pursued a career in law enforcement and went to police academy until I got older and realized that I felt like the Lord was calling me somewhere bigger. A lot of people think about serving and protecting their families and their loved ones in their hometown. But I think my goal was wanting to help other people on a big scale. I really wanted to pursue being the canine handler in the United States Navy. At the time, I was 24 years old and that it was a complete contradiction of shy Rachel and that was a huge step out of my comfort zone. So when they gave me orders to Japan, it was nerve wracking, it was scary. Again, shy Rachel came out and wanted to hide in her shell, but if I wanted this, I had to be bold. I had to be bold in what I want. Being put with Chucky was probably the best thing that's happened to me so far. When I first met Chucky, I'll be honest, I was a little bit disappointed. You go into this career thinking, I'm gonna have the most high-speed dog. I'm gonna have the most energetic dog and my dog's gonna be so cool. But he always just wanted to sleep. He was always very lethargic and shy. I thought to myself, I don't know that this bond is gonna work. He kind of did remind me of myself. Down. Sit. Putting two timid Down. creatures together sometimes okay. doesn't work out very well. Out. Chucky. Out. But he's been the biggest blessing in my life. Good. Good. Working with him has really molded me as a handler because it's required so much effort and energy on my end. With this line of work, you can't be reserved. You have to be out there. And this dog relies on you to give him the best of your ability. Even if I'm having a bad day, he relies on me to show him that I'm giving 100% as well.
Sit. Down. I was able to find it within myself to be the motivation for this animal, as well as him be motivation He's for like me. A boy. Did we have a good day, Chucky? Yeah, we did. Hey. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. <laughs> Thanks. You look happy. I am happy. Becoming right. a canine handler, it wasn't easy for me. It was a process. Mm -hmm. It was a process of failure and falling flat on my face and realizing yeah. it doesn't define who I am. Did you think, and like, two years ago that I'd be where I am now? No. No, I knew that you would advance uh, rapidly in whatever you did, and I knew that you would never, ever quit. Uh, mm -hmm. You were, um, I get emotional when I do that <laughs> because I'm proud of you in the sense of what is she going after next. I think emotionally, mentally, physically, um, it gave me a lot of time to mature and to, you know, pursue fitness and lose 75 pounds on my own and find a love for stepping out of my comfort zone. That's God's way of growing me. And it's been uncomfortable, but it's been really beautiful. We're all scared of the unknown. But I think that's also the beauty of it. The coolest part about my story is knowing that they chose me, Rachel. They thought that I was the best candidate for this job. And I think that's been my life journey. Wanting to be accepted as me. As for Chucky, he's been there for me through so much. To be honest, I think he's taught me more than I've taught him. I've learned to be more open and honest with myself about what my goals are and really just go get all of them. My name is Rachel Higuera, and I'm a Master at Arms in the United States Navy.